welcome to VTH my dear students in this session we are going to have the study of how the computer system and the operating system environment is there computer system is connected with different devices and resources to make the communication of or sharing the information so based on the environment of computer the computing environment is varied so depending on the environment the operating system need to provide the services so here we are going to have the study of computing environments and how the operating system provide services to these computing environments here you can see there are different computing environments the first one is personal computing environment that is handled by the single user next one is time sharing computing environment that means the time sharing of cpu by the processes next one is client server computing environment that means a main system is providing services to the clients by sharing the all the resources next one is distributed computing environment which is the enhancement of environment and moreover it is the wireless environment cloud computing environment and cluster computing environment so we are going to study about all these environments and how operating system acts at these environments see the first one is personal computing environment personal computing environment there is a single computer and the system process are available on the computer and executed there itself and the different devices are constitute a personal computing like the laptop used by the personal purpose that is by single user the mobile phone printer and general computer system like pc and the scanners so these are comes under personal computing environment next coming to the time sharing computing environment time sharing computing environment allows multiple users to share the system simultaneously and each user is provided a time slice here you need to note that time slice that means each user is given a time slice in the time slice the user has to use the resources and processor switch rapidly among the user according to it and because of this each user believes that they are only one usage of the system next one is in the time sharing computing environment client server environment is there and distributed environment is there and cloud computing environment is there while coming to the computing is moved away from the individual computer system to the cloud computers in cloud computing environment the cloud users only see the services being provided not the internal details how the services are provided that means in cloud computing only it gives what the service is given and what from which resource the service is not is given it is not considered here now coming to the cluster computing environment clustered computing environment is the similar to the parallel computing environment as they both have multiple cpus and however the major difference is that clustered systems are created by two or more individual systems and merged together which can work parallel with each other to share the information while coming back once again see the client server computing environment means here it is network computing environment where all the systems are connected with each other and here the main operating system is served at server which maintains all the network needs by the clients and they are maintained at the client server architecture and here it is client server computing while coming to the distributed computing environments here the services and the resources are distributed the works are distributed so here also it is also the network type environment where the resources and the things are distributed among different systems now open source operating system an open source is the term originally referred to as the open source software that means oss open source software is the code that designed to be publicly accessible by anyone can see and anyone can modify and distribute the code as they fit for it next one is what is the difference between the free software and open source here coming to there are two terms we get confused that and in practice that is all the free software is a open source but all the open source is not is a software open source is considered to have more flexible rules 
than the free software since it allows companies and developers to impose their usage that means particular certain usage there is a freedom to execute the code while coming to the open source and it wish whatever the purpose and one wish the source code can be known and modified in an eternity the code can be distributed freely the modifications to the code can also be briefly done and examples of open source operating systems are linux operating system open office vlc comwin antivirus word process android by the google firefox browser and moodle so these are the open source operating systems and here the next important concept is what are the services of operating system the main operating system is it provides programs and environment to execute it provides users and the services to execute at the programs and here the following are the most important services the first one is it provides the service as i said in the introduction itself it provides the service to the execution input output operations file system manipulation communication error detection resource allocation and protection while coming to the program execution as already we studied that program execution is mainly handled by the operating system that means by allocating the cpu time or by allocating the resource time operating system handle many kinds of activities from the user programs to the system programs like printer spooler name servers file servers like that here a process includes the complete execution that means the context to code to execute and data to manipulate and having the registers os resources in use and what are the functionalities or the services at the time of process management is see the first one it loads the program into main memory next one is execute the program at cpu and handles the program execution provides the mechanism for process synchronization that means sometimes a program need to communicate with other program and the other program need to make the communication with this program and resource allocations and these things are managed by operating system which is nothing but the synchronization provides a mechanism for process communication with other processes and provides a mechanism for deadlock handling where it is happened or occurred in multi process execution that is multi programming environment next one is input output operation an io subsystem comprises of input output devices and their corresponding driver software where the driver hides a particular or specific hardware device from use an operating system manages the communication between the user as well as the device drivers an operating system means to read or write operations with any file or specific io device while coming to the file system manipulation file system represents the collection of related information which is gathered and stored in a file computers can store the files on disk which is nothing but secondary storage device for longer term purpose for example they are included magnetic disk magnetic tapes and hard disk drives where the entire permanent data or information stored in the form of files in that a file system normally organized into directories for easy navigation coming to the activities done in the file organization is program needs to read a file and write a file a operating system gives the permission to the program for file operations permissions and it per gives the permissions from various read only write only and denied and so on that means file permissions are also generated by operating system that means some files we can only read some files we can only write and some files we can do both the actions as read and write next one is communication in case of distributed system which are a collection of processor and they do not share the memory peripheral devices or a clock the operating system manages communication between all the processes and multiple process communication with an another through communication lines is in the network here the activities of process communication is two process often require the data to be transferred between them 
both the processes can be on one computer or on different computer wherever it is it is possible computers but not connected through the computer network not only they are connected to the computer network even then we can do the multiple processes and communication by implemented two methods either by shared memory or message passing here the communication between two processes can be of two types that means by sharing the memory or by sending the message passing next one is error handling errors can occur any time at anywhere an error may be occurred in cpu in the io devices and in the main memory hardware there are two major activities that we can perform that is os constantly checks the possible errors the os takes an appropriate action to ensure the correct and inconsistent computing next one is resource management in case of multi user or multitasking environment resources such as main memory cpu cycle and file storage are to be allocated to each other and here we can see what is and how the resource management is done os manages all kinds of resources by using the schedulers cpu scheduling algorithms are used to better utilization of utilization of cpu the next one is protection considering a computer system having multiple users and concurrent execution of multiple processes and various processes must be protected from each other activity and next one is protection refers to the mechanism or the way to control and access to the programs process and users to the resources the next one is the activities that are done by the under protection by the operating system is os ensures that all the access to the system resources are controlled by operating system operating system ensures the external io devices it provides the authentication features for each user by means of password so thank you so much students we are going to continue in the next session with a new topic